the UCI Women's World Tour Scandinavian Adventure headed further north for Race 19, the Ladies' Tour of Norway, and Stage 1 between Osgur Strand and Horten. I think like the win will make it more exciting, like everyone, team wants like to push pressure on each other because you don't know what to expect of the win, if you're going to make actual one or not, but the weather make is uh, more exciting, I think, so I think it's just good. <laughs> the peloton suffered grim conditions all day, with heavy rain, cool temperatures and high winds greeting Anastasia Kursina, the first rider able to get away from the bunch. Team Sunweb forced the race to split in crosswinds and placed Florcha Mackay into a strong group of five. With that group caught on the last of three local laps, a small peloton entered the final kilometre to contest the sprint finish. It was a battle for position, with CCC Liv's Martelac winning out over Ale Cipollini, while her teammate Mariana Voss moved into position behind. A small group also chasing back on through the pouring rain. Lack put in a huge effort on the front of the bunch, other riders fighting for a place on her wheel. And with the race entering its final corner, it was Chloe Hosking who held on to second place. Into the final 500 metres and still Lack powered on. Behind local rider Suzanne Anderson tried to move up out of the wind, but it was Hosking who clung onto Lack's wheel, with Amelia Diederichsen tight behind her. And eventually, with Lack's effort beginning to take its toll, Hosking was left with no option but to start her sprint. 300 metres from the line and out of the saddle, the Australian was gapping her rivals, but round the outside came the ominous figure of Dutch champion Lorena Vibus, crossing the line with her arms aloft, celebrating her fifth UCI Women's World Tour win of 2019. Yes, it's really the breakthrough. I didn't expect it, uh, but it's amazing. They crashed on the left side and I was a bit more on the right side, so uh, that was lucky for me. And then uh, I keep up again in my position and uh, I thought I was a little bit too far, but uh, it was good, <laughs> good enough to win. I worked really hard in June, July to get back to where I think I need to be and where I want to be and um, just, yeah, keep, keep working and hopefully some more good results to come. Yeah, maybe the motivation goes down if it rains and mine goes up. Um, so, yeah, I was quite motivated for a good result and I'm really happy to be on the podium today. I mean, it's been quite a rough start to the season for me. I hadn't really, yeah, think hadn't gone my way. Um, so it's a good start for me and the team. I think we did well today. Chloe Hosking managed to hold on for second place, but Diederikson was a close third. Letizia Paternoster taking fourth place. With time bonuses taken into consideration, Lorena Vibis now leads the general classification by four seconds ahead of Hosking. Two-time overall winner Mariana Voss sits fifth. 